Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a complex of Uranium-6 and 18 Crown-6, the Crown Ether. Before I begin, I must point out that we will be in contact with radioactive materials and soluble uranium. Uranium is a heavy metal, and even though its radioactivity is pretty low in this state um, as a soluble compound, uh, it's still a heavy metal like lead is, so treat it as such. Now, you may be looking at this bottle on the left here. This is 18 crown 6. 18 crown 6 is a cyclic ether. Today, we're going to be bonding it with uranium 6 in the form of urinal nitrate. My plan for this is to dissolve the 18 crown 6 in chloroform. Now, why I chose chloroform is because urinal nitrate is not soluble in chloroform. Now, it is soluble in water, and that's what it's dissolved in right now. So, with the 18 crown 6 dissolved in the chloroform, the 18 crown 6 will also complex with the urinal nitrate and dissolve in the chloroform, giving a green color, indicating that complexation has indeed occurred. If complexation did not occur, the chloroform layer would basically stay colorless and no green color would be observed. However, after conducting this experiment already, I know that it works, so let's get on with it. Here, I have a dram vial with a small stir bar in it. What I'm going to do now to this is add a few milliliters of chloroform. This will act as the solvent for the crown ether complex. That should be about good. We're all done with the chloroform now, so we can go ahead and put it away. To the chloroform, we're going to add this. This is our 18 crown 6, our crown ether. Now, for about 100 grams, this cost me about $66, which is a pretty good deal, in my opinion. So, 18 crown 6 is a colorless crystalline solid that is very hygroscopic and will absorb water from the air. It's pretty nice looking, actually. So, what I'm going to do now is add this to the chloroform in which it will dissolve. 18 crown 6, most crown ethers in general, really dissolve in practically anything. It's quite amazing, actually. I'm going to go ahead and turn on stirring. And I'm going to now add our 18 crown 6. This will dissolve shortly. That's probably enough. Okay, I'm going to leave this stirring here for a few minutes. And it should all dissolve pretty quickly. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put away my 18 crown 6 in the meantime. While that's dissolving, let's move over and take a look at the urinal nitrate solution. This is a solution of urinal nitrate in water. Uh, there's a little bit of uranium dioxide at the bottom, but that's no real big deal. So, this is uranium in the plus 6 oxidation state. It's got a nice green color, which you may be able to see on camera, even though it might be a little bit washed out compared to, you know, how I see it in real life. Now, how I made this is by reacting uranium dioxide with concentrated nitric acid with uh, heating and cooling in between, you know, like in cycles, basically. Um, this creates, as I said, a solution of urinal nitrate in water. There is really no nitric acid left. I have tested the solution. So, uh, okay, now that all the 18 crown 6 has dissolved, I can go ahead and begin to add the urinal nitrate solution to our 18 crown 6. Alrighty, it's showtime. Nothing should happen at first. That's because the layers are immiscible and no complexation can really occur unless the two layers are mixed intimately. That's probably about good. Okay, what I'm going to do now is stir this 
to complex the uranium. Stir vigorously, I should add. What we'll see now is the green color slowly move into the chloroform and crown ether layer. This indicates that complexation is occurring between the uranium-6 and likely one or two molecules of the 18 crown-6. So after this is done stirring for a little while, I'm going to go ahead and stop the stirring and let the layers separate. Then we can go ahead and see the phase change that the uranium-6 has made. Alright, the moment of truth. Uh, this might take a second. One moment. As we can see, all of the green color has moved into the bottom organic chloroform layer. This means that our uranium-6 has successfully complexed. This means that I can go ahead and separate the chloroform layer from the aqueous layer. The aqueous layer probably contains little to no uranium left as it's all been grabbed and pulled into the organic layer by the 18 crown-6. Let's get to uh, separating those layers, shall we? What I'm going to do now is pipette the bottom organic chloroform and uranium complex layer to a smaller dram vial for complex isolation. Well, there's one vial down. Now on to the next one. So, what we have here are two vials of our 18 crown 6 uranium 6 complex. What we can do now is put these in a cold place such as a freezer to isolate the complex. Here's a small amount of the solid complex from an earlier run. Let me wipe off the condensation. You may be able to see the pale green color of the solid complex at the bottom of the dram vial. As you can see, the solution is practically colorless. That means that all, or nearly all, of the uranium-6 has precipitated out as the 18 crown-6 complex, which is the pale yellow-green solid that you can see at the bottom. Alright, it's the next day, and this has been pretty much in the freezer overnight. As we can see, the solution is a bit lighter in color, and we have some green crystals of our uranium-18 crown-6 complex at the bottom. It looks really cool. I don't think I'm going to bother uh, with filtering these because uh, crown ether complexes, especially 18 crown 6 complexes, are uh, really hygroscopic. So I'm just basically going to leave these in under the chloroform as they are. Uh, I'll refrigerate them or freeze them uh, for a few more days and uh, see if I can get any more crystals out. This was the synthesis of uranium 6, 18 crown 6. I really hope you enjoyed. This is an awesome experiment to do. You can like and subscribe if you want to, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.